Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Combat Coloring 101. This is episode 16, and today we'll be talking about the long-awaited morgue file. Uh, pretty much uh, it goes all the way back to old school doing analog artwork, um, you know, newspapers and stuff like that. And pretty much what a morgue file is, is just a collection of images uh, that you can use for reference or, you know, if you're writing an article, you might be saving like newspaper clippings or whatever. And a lot of writers would use it for reference and, you know, a lot of artists would use it. Um, so if you need like a specific car, like, oh yeah, I took a photo of that not too long ago. Let me look it up and I can pull up that image and uh, use that for reference or whatever. Um, but the way I use it, I use, uh, when going from Photoshop and doing this, um, I'll use the Adobe Bridge. And this, is what we're looking at here on my screen now is just an image I had done, uh, just working on some more... Uh, my day job stuff, working up some stuff for my online portfolio for that, doing storyboards and animatics and, and whatnot. Um, so what we're going to do, if you go up to Photoshop, uh, your Photoshop menu, and of course it's on my other monitor so you can't see it, but if you go to Photoshop File and then Open in br or Browse in Bridge, which you can see the shortcut is going to be Shift-Command-O on a, on a Mac and Shift-Control-O on a PC. So let's go back over here and we'll do that. Uh, Shift Command O. That's going to open up Adobe Bridge. And uh, you can set it up so you can see like on my uh, on my desktop. It's going to have all my folders and all my images and stuff like that in a second. Just don't have that much stuff. <laughs> okay, so on the on this uh, I have a folder for backgrounds. And this is what I mainly use. So you can see it, I saved it, I even saved it here. Um, and I have like building facades, which I can use you know, for quick. You can see, it's really nice. You can see like nice big thumbnails. You can also kind of move this around. If you want to see bigger thumbnails, that's fine. You could do that. Um, but you know, I also want to see my thumbnails at the same time. You know, I have pictures of, of a cutout, you know, skyline. Uh, here's some skyscrapers. Uh, that were previously built together in case I need to fill out a background of an image or whatever, you know, I can easily do that. Here's like a city block. Um, so let's see what else. Uh, I have one for building textures, which uh, it's just stuff, you know, if pictures you find all over the web, textures I might use a lot. You know, here's like a, a carpet I might use for an office building or, you know, here's like some uh, really huge uh, brick uh, uh, wall that I set up. You know, just from a simple brick pattern, just duplicating it over and over again and building it up a lot. Uh, let's see, you know, a pavement texture. Or, you know, how about some, you know, grungy tiles or sidewalk texture. And it's just finding images across the web and saving them to your folder, uh, you know, that you can always come back to. Uh, instead of, you know, oh, let me go to my desktop, let me find this this folder for this. It's all right here you know, in my backgrounds folder, you know, so if I need like a, a cloth texture, you know, here's some leather, you know, here's some, here's some plaid, here's like for uh, a towel or something, uh, here's some denim. So it all works out, you know, I know where everything's going to be, I have it categorized, different locations, uh, you know, cities and stuff like that, uh, nature backgrounds, you know, in case I need like a, a nice beach texture or something, or, you know, some, here's some grassy fields, or here's some like some regular grass. And, you know, it just saves a whole lot of time, some rock textures, you know, go on to sites. Uh, let me see if I can pull one up real quick. I think it's, uh, let me open up a new window over here. Oops, let me drag that over. Uh, other stuff, CG textures. There's one I'll, I'll go to a lot. And it has everything broken down. But, you know, there's some textures I'll find that I really like to use a lot. And I'll just go ahead and save those to my desktop and put those in my morgue file. So I can always go back to those really easily and quickly. Instead of having to go, it's like, okay, which one was that again? Oh, I think that was under brick or was it building or, you know, what have you. It just saves so much time when doing it like that. Um, so, and then just backgrounds. Uh, there's some smudges and, and splatters. Uh, you know, various other things like, you know, I've done like with some ink uh, when I scanned it in some smudges I was using for a project, um, you know, ink splatters, you know, you can use for a wide variety of things, uh, you know, different textures, 
Uh, let's see here. So I'm just going to grunge. I believe all this stuff here was found like on a CD, like from one of the computer arts uh, magazines. You know, they all offer like free textures and stuff like that. So I can easily take this and uh, a lot of the stuff. It'll either have like JPEGs or I'll also have like an alpha channel available for even easier quick selection. You know, I can go ahead and uh, uh, let me see if I can find it. Let me see if I can find one. Here's a TIFF. You know, so you just double click on it, it's opened in Photoshop. You know, here I can just go ahead and uh, select all, copy, and I can close it. And I can just kind of put this on top of everything if I want to add more texture to it. And these guys are usually a uh, pretty decent size. Uh, you know, so it'd be good, good for print. You know, just be careful uh, for using stuff from the web. You know, just make sure it's like fair use uh, type of stuff, or you know, make sure there's no kind of uh, user agreement. You know, where you have to pay royalties or anything like that. So, just be wary of that type of stuff because uh, that could be, you know, can turn into a, a bit of a pain. Uh, making sure you know you're paying for the right stuff. Um, so, you know, just really quick and easy, you can just add that, uh, you know, change the soft light, whatever you want. Um, but yeah, that's about it, you know, very simple. Um, I've been talking about it for a long time and I had, you know, a bunch of people question, uh, a bunch of people asking, you know, what the morgue file was. So I just want to get this quick video out there. Um, you know, it saves a lot of time. I highly recommend setting one up. And I know it's a, qu a quick, short video. Um, things are starting to pick up you know for my day job uh so things have been call falling a little bit behind the behind schedule on my video uploads lately and i think what's going to happen i'll gonna need to make a decision in the next couple of days but i might end up taking september off i'm going to be doing a lot of traveling uh for business going overseas and and whatnot uh, but i'll make sure to put a post on my facebook page that's uh facebook.com slash lumage one it's a number one and also post if i do it there i'll also do it on my deviantart page that's uh, lumage.deviantart.com and as always i'll put those uh, in, a, in those links into the description so you can check those out and uh, if you like what you see hit the like button if you haven't already subscribed please do we just uh went over 3,000 recently so i'm very happy about that and i want to thank you guys for all the support and um, even if I do shut down for the month of September, I still will be around, you know, answering questions, uh, both on, you know, the comments here on the YouTube page or also on the uh, uh, DeviantArt page and the uh, Facebook page. So, you know, I'll still be around, uh, just probably won't be able to do videos while I'm traveling so much. But um, yeah, I think that's going to be it for this episode. So thanks a lot for watching and I'll see you guys soon. All right. Thanks. Bye.